Yo, what's going on guys? Gray here. Welcome back to another video. We just finished watching the Witch Queen reveal live stream from Bungie. Absolute hype, man. I mean, you got to go watch it. Go check it out. Uh, it'll blow your mind. The stuff that they announced is absolutely incredible if you're a Destiny fan. But shortly after they finished the live stream, this article right here went live. And this has this is detailing all about the anti-cheat coming to Destiny 2 next season. This is huge. This has all the details about what will get you banned, what won't get you banned, talking about how Battle Eye works, their plan for it. And so we're going to look at it because there's something crazy in here. It's going to blow your mind. So starting off, they talk about how Battle Eye Trials isn't coming back till September 10th. So they are using that time to sort of soft launch the system and train the system to be able to automatically issue bans without Bungie needing to manually review that which is huge. It'll take a couple weeks to get that up and running, but they say by the time Trials launches, they should have that ready to go, which is going to be amazing. You can I'm going to leave a link to this article down below. There is a link to an FAQ that talks more about specific programs and things that you may encounter issues with with BattleEye and Destiny 2, so you might want to take a look at that depending on what you use your computer for, uh, as long as you're not uh, sus, if you know what I'm saying. The huge thing, huge thing is right here, guys account recoveries this is going to piss people off and i don't care but thank god this is amazing account recoveries are when a player gives someone else access to their account and control of their characters this not only puts your account security at risk but it can also have adverse effects on other players experiences and competitive match made activities starting this season participating as a buyer or seller of account recovery services could result in a ban on your account while we will only be placing bans on restrictions for certain circumstances, we recommend that you never give your account login information to anyone. And show it shows that they are, it says right here, what could get you banned? Charging others to recover their account for boosting, earning items, or completing content. Recovering accounts in exchange for anything of value, but not limited to Patreon supporters, subscribers, follows, gift cards. Paying someone to have your account boosted have items earned that can get you banned. Boosting recoveries done for free can also result in bans or restrictions. It says, what could happen if I pay someone to recover my account? Temporary or permanent bans may be applied to your account if you're using paid recovs. You are responsible for the security of your account and bans will be applied if someone else is detected cheating on your account or your account benefits from being in a fire team with another cheater. Bungie will not recover any lost items or progression on your account if you share your login information with anyone. They say this is not a comprehensive list of all the circumstances, but recubs are off the table. No more. They're gone. It, Bungie has never taken this hard of a stance on recubs ever. So this is huge. And it's controversial. It's going to be a little controversial, but I agree with it. I think that recubs cause... It, it lends itself to more issues. It's I've said this myself. It's okay to play against a recub. I don't mind if someone's playing on someone else's account. That never bothered me. But when money becomes involved, when cheating becomes involved, it immediately becomes toxic, and it just makes a horrible byproduct of the community. And that's how we get this toxic name going in the PvP community in Destiny is because so much of it is tied to just this toxic crap, and it needs to go away. On top of that, Win trading is also now a bannable offense where you cannot win trade in trials anymore. You cannot give someone free wins. You cannot trade that. It degrades the integrity of PvP. And Bungie says that is now a bannable offense. So pretty crazy news here, guys. This is just something that popped up. Wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's amazing. This is a huge step for Bungie to put their foot down and keep the PvP community non-toxic. It's huge. Let me know what you think. I know there's going to be mixed opinions on this. That's where I stand on it. I think it's amazing. So share your opinions with me. Let me know down below what you think.